Today, I'm going to be showing you how you can install the best minimap mod for Minecraft in 2024. If you didn't know, we're going to be using Zero's minimap mod, which gives you an overhead map in the corner of your screen, which can be customised to see surrounding mobs, players, items, biomes, a map compass, waypoints and many more features. Now, this tutorial is super simple. As long as you follow my exact steps, you're going to have no trouble. But if you do have any issues, leave a comment down below and myself or another viewer will help you out. So if you want to head down to the first link of the description, give it a click and you'll find yourself on the official Curse Forge website. You can read up more information on this mod here if you'd like, but we're going to head to File and luckily for you this mod works on both Fabric and Forge, which is great. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to be using the Forge mod launcher, but if you are using Fabric, make sure to download a Fabric version. I'll also leave a link on the screen and in the description on how to download and use fabric if you are interested in that. Anyway, ensure you're on Forge, click the three dots and hit download file. Now just wait 5 seconds then the download will begin, and while you're waiting, consider dropping a like on the video and maybe leaving a nice comment. Great, now if you head to the second link in the description, you'll see a link to download Forge. So what is Forge? Forge is a mod loader which supports this mod, and you're going to need to download Forge to actually get Zero's minimap to work. As you can see, there's multiple versions you can install here, all the way from 1.1 up until the current one at the time of making this video, which is 1.20.4. For the purpose of this video, we'll be downloading this one, but if there's a newer version released, then you can go ahead and download that one. Once the Forge launcher is downloaded, we can minimize our browser and open our downloads folder, and for simplicity reasons, just move Forge straight to your desktop along with the minimap mod. Click open and select Java. If you're not seeing Java as an option to open with, this may be because you have never downloaded Java on your computer, and Java 17 is essential for running any sort of Minecraft mods. I've already created a full, very easy tutorial on how to download and install the latest Java. You can find the link to that on screen and in the description, along with a jar fix in that video to ensure I can get this to work for you as quick as possible. Once you have Java and you've opened Forge with Java, you'll see the mod system installer. You don't need to mess around with anything here, leave the settings exactly as they are and just simply click OK. I must stress that if for some reason the download fails, it's probably because you have either Minecraft or the Minecraft launcher currently open, so ensure you've got both of them closed. If they are closed and it's still not working, it may be because you haven't played the current version of Minecraft yet. So you need to open up your launcher and load up 1.20 point four for example to the point that you're on the title screen, close it down and then retry the launcher. If everything is good however, you'll see it's successfully installed and we can now delete the launcher from our desktop. When Minecraft is launched, it should be obvious this is the Forge launcher, as it will say on the bottom left of your screen. Also, you should see a mods button here, which you can go ahead and click. Here will be any mods you have downloaded previously, and you may be asking, well, where's the minimap mod? Well, you actually need to add it to the mods folder, so click the button in the bottom left and simply drag the mod straight into this folder. Once you've done this, you'll need to exit out of Minecraft so it can register the new mods placed into the folder. And one last time, load up Minecraft, head to the mods folder, and you should see the minimap mod. Click a survival word world or a server and the mod should be working great. If you would like a full guide into using this mod, leave a comment and I'll create one just for you. Please leave a like if this video helps you out and of course have a lovely day. Goodbye.